Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going up to check out this vein. I got my buddy with me, Jesse. Howdy, howdy. And I'm Wyatt. It's the first time I've said my name, actually, <laughs> on a video. So now you all know who I am. And we're going up to this vein that we came out to the other day. And uh, found some pyrites, some good mineralization. So we're gonna show that, show that off. So there's obviously big chunks of quartz. <laughs> big chunks. And the vein's right there. First exposure of the vein right here along this log-in road cutout. Pretty good size. Yeah. Some of the quartz. We're finding the uh, pyrites just on the other side. We'll take you there in a moment. And some of the stuff. That's what it looks like. The some pie right there. Oh, nice. Yeah. First bit of pie, right? All right, so here's the top of this vein here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna measure the strike position for this vein so I can uh, get an idea of which direction it's running towards on a map, get its orientation. So, so far it looks like it's running about north, east and southwest. Use it, I'll use this and we'll get a, a good representation of how this is aligned relative to magnetic north. Some of the uh, good bedrock here, it's pretty slaty stuff. There's a couple spots where it looks like there might be some copper, and you said some like chlorites? Oh yeah, the, the chlorite. Yeah. Some stuff running through here. A little stringer. A little stringer vein. And uh, little pockets. Oh, nice. Yeah, cute, cute little sparklies. <laughs> All right, so here's where we were getting the pyrites. Some quartz veins buried down in here. Let's see if I can find some. See the pyrites in there. Pretty nice. Now, I think these, uh, the darker layers, I think that is your arsenic or arsenopyrites. And if there's any, any gold to be found in this vein, we'll be traveling along these darker minerals here. And if you look closely, you can see the pirates kind of follow that too. Breaking this one, this is actually the huge one that we've broken. We spent most of our time last time breaking pieces of it. Got a bigger hammer now, but there's that big chunk right there I'm going to try to break out. Hopefully without actually breaking the pyrite. Oh man! Woo buddy! <laughs> Bro, come check this out! <laughs> oh dude, that's some nice pyrite. That's some good, yeah, those are some chunks. Nice. That's gonna be rough to get out though. Jesse just popped this open with the sledgehammer. Oh yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice pyrite. See if we can get it out in one piece. <laughs> Big boys. Oh yeah. Dang, I know, and I was, shoot, I was going for the smaller one wherever it was. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'll take that one. I, th I think we've upgraded on the inside. <laughs> no, that's pretty sweet. That just looks nice just the yeah, way it is going it through really the rock. I mean, honestly, yeah, this one I might not even, I might not break. Some more stuff. There's little bits of uh, coating of boronite. It's your copper sulfide. Jesse up there is finding the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Some more pyrite. Here's some more. Good little chunk of pyrite right there. Finding the pyrites wherever these little black, blacker veins are in the quartz. So I just found this little mineral. We're not quite sure what it is. Maybe a sphalerite. It's got a little tint, tint of red in it. 
might be hard to see on the camera, but definitely going to take this back and f try to figure out what, what this is here. And this big rock here, I'm going to see if I can get this out. Some of the stuff. Nice. That piece. Pretty barren though. And I've just been digging away. This one right here looks like it might have potential. I might tr try that one. All right, just pulled that one out of the ground. Not much, just some rainbow colored and a little bit of mineralization. Some kind of mineral right there. Ooh, there was some serious spark there. <laughs> this vein here, a little, it looks like there's a little bit of uh, calcopyrite. Yeah, just a little bit. Let's see if I can get more out of that. Might be hard to see, but I believe there's some calcopyrite right there. Maybe. Tried to get it in the right lighting. All right, so we moved to a different location. Found another vein. Got quartz sticking up all over. All right, we've been searching around. We found, well, he found a little bit of pyrite. I just noticed this giant hole here with this big quartz part of the vein sticking out. Some uh, buggy looking material here, a whole bunch of pyrites rusted out, oxidized out. So this might be a good spot to look for some pyrites. This looks pretty good right here. Oh, there's some right there. That looks like calco. Some calco pyrite. This might be a good spot down here. See what we can find. The sample has a little bit of calco right there. There's some of that. That might be arsenopyrite. Looks like there's some more calco right there. A little chunk of uh, calco right there. Some pyrite. Some darker minerals there. So here's some quartz that Jesse removed right out of there. <laughs> And it's got all kinds of iron looking little veins running through it. There's, there's some choco pyrite right, right here that I crushed just to make sure it wasn't gold. It was not, sadly. Sad, sad. day, sad day. But uh, this quartz sounds like metal. Been working on this rock. Some more pyrites. Right there. Well, we're heading out for the day. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Found some pyrites and some stuff and the quartz veins. There was a couple different quartz veins that we went to. Uh, the, like the one, the last one we were at. There's a fault zone around here somewhere, so it's probably why the quartz are around here, but not a bad day. Yeah. So this will uh, conclude it and we'll s I'll see you all in the next one and uh, hopefully we'll find some more good stuff. See ya.